Hey guys, welcome back to another vlog. Today is Friday. It is January 29th today. Uh, it is about quarter to 11 in the morning and I am currently in the middle of grooming. <laughs> this is little Milo. Let's see if I can get better lighting. Hi sweetheart. Yeah. So I am grooming Mr. Milo today. It is my old boss from Big B. Uh, this is her dog. Um, I've groomed him quite a few times, I'm sure you guys have seen. So we're just working on him right now, just giving him a nice neat and clean up, especially on his face. But the thing with Mr. Milo is he does not like his face touched at all, so we're going very, very slow. I've made some progress so far, so we're just going to keep going. Um, just go slow with him. Uh, he had quite a bit of hair up above his eyes, so he couldn't really see. So I'm just kind of very slowly going. I'll make like... You know, a little trim with my thinners, take a break. Another little trim, take a break. Uh, yeah, you yawning? He basically cleaned up his body and his feetsies a little bit, so we're really just kind of working on the face, but that's gonna take a while. He literally cries the whole groom, too. Like, that's just what he does. Um, I did just take him out for a little bit of a potty break. Um, just to kind of relieve himself. I have literally been grooming so much this week. I groomed Monday, Tuesday, Thursday, today, and I work tomorrow. I also lost two nails that I need to fix. I wanted to start a new vlog. I wanted to start a new vlog because my goal for 2021 is to vlog as much as possible, but I am going to get back to doing Milo's face. Lord, help me keep your fingers crossed for me because he just does not like it. He gets very stressed out for grooming, which... Oh, my mom's calling. BRB. All right, guys, Mr. Milo is all done. Here's how he came out. We were able to finish his face, so that's good. He did a lot better this time. Uh, Mom has been playing with his face at home, so he did a lot better. Okay, I'm back. Uh, sorry, when I was showing you guys Milo, my mom called again, so I had to answer the phone. Uh, but Milo just left. To kind of show you guys, so here was Milo's before and his face after. So, quite a transformation, quite a cleanup. Now he looks like a nice, handsome little gentleman. Here was his body before. Here was his body after. I also fixed my nails. I put them back on, so we're back to being neon green on both of my nails um, a lot of people ask me like how I do my nails because I don't go to a salon I literally just go and get like the press-ons or the glue-ons and do them at home it's just it saves me money and it's literally just as effective so that's what I've been doing uh, now it is about almost one o'clock I cleaned up some of the hair I still have to clean up the rest of my tools oh I put a new piece of jewelry in my Medusa piercing it's like this really pretty opal oh there's my nose ring it's like this really pretty opal piece that I got off of body candy and septum is up inside my nose just because when I'm grooming and dog hair like gets up in my nose I don't like to like pick at my septum so every time I'm grooming I sometimes like will flip my septum ring up I am going to be having a body jewelry or a body candy jewelry haul up on my channel. I don't know when I still have to film it, but I got my order yesterday and I couldn't wait. I had to put this pretty opal piece in because I love it. So that's what I'm rocking. It's a little bit bigger. It's a little bit more extreme, but that's okay. I am all about it. I'm going to get off here for now and I will talk to you guys in the next clip. Don't know when that's going to be. Talk to you guys soon. Bye. Here's my grooming table. I got the whole surface cleaned off and now I just have all of my tools and whatnot uh, that I need to put away. But I really quickly wanted to show you guys, I got a blender. <laughs> and for those of you who may be wondering, oh, like, are you gonna make smoothies? Like, are you gonna be like a total health nut now? No, <laughs> I got this blender for a very specific reason and it is not for me. This whole blender, this whole $30 blender is for Jackal. And the reason I say that is because I need to blend up Jackal's food. Now, he used to be on wet food, but for whatever reason, it's not available anymore. I can't find it anywhere. So I had to get his food. So I keep their food right here, and Jackal's is now here. And I don't know if you can see, these are too big for him, and they're kind of hard for him to chew, but he needs to be on this food because it's for his liver, and this food doesn't come in any smaller kibble, so I basically have to take his food, 
and put it in the blender. <laughs> I have to blend it up so it's nice and mushy and easier for him to chew. I'll show you guys how I make it when it's time for them to eat. It's not time for them to eat yet, but when I do make it, I'll show you how I do it. But I just thought it was crazy that I had to literally get like a full blender just for my dog's food because he just, he has such a hard time eating it and he's just, it, it's just difficult. So it's much easier to blend it up. So it's kind of like a wet food consistency. He is also on a probiotic. He is taking the Purina Pro Plan, the 40 Flora um, packets because I noticed that his stool, he's not having diarrhea, but his stool has been a little bit loose. I'm sorry if that's TMI. So I also give him this little probiotic powder in his food every time he eats to kind of help maybe solid things up. Um, it's worked really well for him in the past. So fun having a senior dog. There's always things that you have to like, you know, do and modify and get right because as they get older, you know, everything changes. Like I remember the days when I could just give Jackal food and call it good. Whereas now, you know, I have to make sure that he gets his pill. I have to put, you know, his food in the blender so it's easier for him to chew. It's just a lot, you know, and Avril, I just put her food in her bowl and she's good to go. I just had to laugh at myself that I had to buy a whole ass blender for my dog. All right, guys, so it is about five o'clock-ish right now and I'm going to make the dog's food, but I'm gonna show you the process of how it goes when I need to <laughs> I need to make Jackal's food. So here we go. Chicken broth for flavor. Go eat. And he loves it. Easy peasy. <laughs> there she goes. Now she's eating. She gets really scared of the blender noise, so she runs away and won't eat her food for a couple minutes because she's afraid that the blender is going to turn back on. <laughs> so it takes her a minute to actually go and uh, eat her food. Hey guys, good evening. Today is Tuesday, February 2nd. I just took a shower. It is currently about eight something at night. <laughs> Got in my, my jammies and now I am about to do some cleaning up. I just finished cleaning my kitchen and starting some dishes as well. Oh, sorry. I'm really out of shape and I'm out of breath, so every time I run up and down my stairs more than once, I'm like... <sighs> so now I need to start some laundry, put some laundry away, and clean up my mess of a filming desk because I filmed three videos today. I'm exhausted, but my filming room desk is a freaking mess, so I need to clean all this shit up. Like, we have fucking rags tissues, makeup, body jewelry, like everything is just on my desk right now in disarray. So I really need to clean this up. So let's do that right now. Ta -da! Everything is all clean. Everything is put away. I wipe down my tabletop. I put all my lipsticks away, which by the way, you guys, okay, get ready to cry. So well, okay, this is totally like first world problem, so a lot of you probably don't give a flying fuck. But here's where I keep all my Velour Liquid Lipsticks. I got three new ones and two new Velvet Traps. So I was putting them in here and I was organizing them and I was like, okay, there's quite a few in here that I have not 
checked on in a while because I like to check on my liquid lipsticks. <sighs> and my heart broke because these are all the ones that I have to throw away. Six of them. Six of them that I now have to throw away. They're so freaking expired and so dried out. Like, oh shit. Let me just show you how bad it is. So here is Dominatrix, right? So crusty and dusty and dried out like that one. Needs to go, uh, what's the other one? Dirty Money. Really dried out, like crusty dusty. Flamethrower. Oh my gosh, this is literally breaking my heart. Really old. Can't even use it anymore. Luckily, a lot of these are mostly empty, so that's all right. Weirdo. I have to replace my weirdo because this one is also really dried up and it's also really dirty. I don't know if you guys can see that, but there's a ton of liquid latex on here because I use that one a lot during Halloween time. Scorpio, another one of my favorites. This one's not too, too bad, but... Oh yeah, no, it is. It's just she crusty. And then one of my favorites, one of the first crazy colors I ever got from Jeffree Star, and that is Abused. Just all chunky and crusty. So after years of having these bad lads, it's time for them to go in the trash. I'm so sad. Uh, I did take pictures of all of these, so I know which ones to replace and add to my collection. So that hurts. This thing on my list, putting away clean clothes. All right, and clean clothes put away in three, two, now. Ooh, all right, I got that done. Now the next thing on my list is to start some laundry. I have my like makeup eraser sticking out. Get in there. cold out. Hi guys, welcome back. It is currently Wednesday. It is about 10 o'clock in the morning and I am on my way to go run some errands. So if you guys watched my last vlog and I showed you guys the Michael Myers figurine, well a bunch of you in the comments told me that they have them at Target. Guess where we're going today? I'm gonna go hit up Target. I'm gonna see if they have any there. Usually I have really bad luck with things like that. Like usually every single time you guys are like, oh, they have it at this store and I go to that store. They don't have it. So hopefully, fingers crossed, we have some good luck there. Um, but first I need to get a coffee and I need to go get some gas and then we can go to Target. And then I need to stop at my mom's on the way home. So I'm really hoping I'm not making this drive for no reason because the closest Target to me is a little like a half hour away. So they better have some. Let's get a coffee. Thank you, thank you. What can I get for you? Can I get a large hot mint mocha? Sure, anything else for you? Nope, that's it. All right, I'll see you at the door. Thank you. Good morning. Hi, how are you? I'm good, how are you? Good. Rachel, today is 6 o'clock. What is that? I'm sorry? Did you want to sleep for your mint mocha? Um, no, but I'll do a straw, please. Okay. Seven, and then you guys can keep the change. You're welcome. Awesome. Thank you. Perfect. Thank you so much. Have a great day. Yeah, you too. Thank you. Let's get some gas. All right. Got gas. Say hello to my old home. Hello, old home. And it looks like they're building another one. Wow.
made it to Target. Fingers crossed that we find some characters. Here we go. God, I'm so excited. Got the three that I wanted. So I got Jason, I got Pennywise, and I got Nightmare on Elm Street 3. And then I also got these little Toonie Tears, and I found Reagan. At first, I was like really starting to give up hope because I couldn't find them. And I found them, and I'm so excited. Ah! Got that done, now I'm going to run to my mom's and help her with something really quick and then I'm going to head home because I have been out of the house for way too long so I need to get out of here. <laughs> hey guys, I'm back home. Sorry, I look like a freaking mess. It is three o'clock right now. I just got home so I've been, I've, I've been busy today. I did a lot of running around. I went to my mom's, helped her out and I'm back home. Uh, took the dogs out and now I really want to show you guys what the inside of everything looks like that I got at Target I'm so excited the total came to like hundred and ten dollars So here is the Pennywise one I got uh, but I just got the first version so it has Pennywise right here These are all seven inch figures and it comes with his red balloon all of his different faces uh, And then of course it has the little hat which I think is really cool so that is my little Pennywise. And then I got the Nightmare on Elm Street, the third one, the Dream Warriors one. I've seen this one probably the most next to the first one, obviously, and this one just looked the coolest. They had the Nightmare on Elm Street 2, but yeah, I just got this guy. So here's what he looks like. He just, I wonder if I can like show you this way maybe because there's like a glare okay there we go so here's what freddy krueger looks like we just have all of his little hands and claws and you know different faces we have the little guy right there his hat of course and then his little chest i thought this was really cool and then it also comes with this little house which i loved this is the main reason why i got the third one and not the second one so there's what freddy looks like I also got the Friday the 13th part four or five. I can't read Roman numerals, but I got this one, New Beginning, and we just have Jason, which he is really cool. There he is, looking all dapper, and we have his, you know, machete and all of his cool little weapons right here. Oh my gosh, I absolutely love these. I really need to figure out where I wanna display them over there. So I'll have to figure that out, but so here's what Jason looks like and then I did show you guys this one in the car But this was the little Toonie Terrors. This is the Exorcist and of course it's Reagan So we have Reagan right here and you can swap her head out So we have a second little head right here and then of course her vomit So I think you can actually stick the vomit in her mouth so it looks like she's puking I don't know I thought this was really cool this one is was only like $12.99 and the rest of these bigger ones were 30 so these are a little bit cheaper and they had like Jason Freddy Krueger Michael Myers I was really hoping that I could find the pinhead version of these but unfortunately they didn't have it I'll probably have to get that one online are so cool thank you guys so freaking much for recommending Target because they had so so many of them there like you guys were right you guys were head on with that so my next one that I really want to get is probably pinhead from Hellraiser and then probably Texas Chainsaw I could have got that one today but I didn't want to like push it I already got enough weird looks as it was going into Target just to get this stuff like people were like what the hell like this is not essential and I also got a bunch of Amazon orders today and this is all like dog grooming related but oh my gosh we have so much here so first I got a new pair of shears from the Foxy Roxy scissor of the month club we have a pair of really nice like thinners and chunkers really cool I'm super excited to use these tomorrow and then it also came with the free gift so it came with this little lead right here 
really, really good quality. So this will definitely come in handy at work. I also got this stuff, and this is the Bach Rescue Remedy, the natural stress relief for pets. And it's basically like a little droplet type formula that you put under their tongue and it's supposed to help like keep them calm and whatnot. So I did get that to try at work and to even try it on my own dogs. And honestly, probably myself too, because that would be nice. I did also get some lavender oil to put on my little leads on my grooming arm so that can also kind of help relax the dogs. I'm not going to put any on the dog. Obviously this is just going to go on like the little grooming lead on my arm um, because lavender oil is really calming so it should kind of help the dogs and myself as well. I also got a butt ton of new colognes. I That's like one of my favorite things to buy in dog grooming is the colognes because they're amazing. So I have a bunch of different ones. I have this Relic or Rel-IQ. I'm not really sure how to pronounce that. Uh, this one I got in Jasmine. Uh, this one is a repeat buy because I love this one. This is one of my favorite ones. This is the green tea cologne. I also got a big guy of the little show season colognes. These are really nice. These are some of my favorites. I got this one in spring rain. This one is pumpkin spice. Holy hell, this one smells so, so good. I'm obsessed with it. Uh, this one I'm kind of sad about. So this is Winter Wonderland, and it smells so good. But you'll notice that it's a little on the empty side. And that's because when this got delivered, this part right here was open, and half of it spilled in the box. So... Yeah, this one's a little bit empty. Kind of sad about it because this one actually smells really, really good. Uh, this one, see, this is another Bodhi pet. This is Fresh and Clean with Rosemary and Aloe Vera. That smells good. And then this one I'm not a huge fan of, but I figured I might as well just have it in my collection because some owners are a little bit picky on what they want their dogs to smell like. And this is the Bodhi Dog Pet Cologne in Sugar Cookie. Not a huge fan of, like, you know, fruity cookie food type scents, but I just figured I would get this one as well. And then this guy right here. So the one thing like I would recommend for beginner dog groomers is going on Amazon and just getting like a set of purple dragon shears because I feel like when you're just starting out in dog grooming, you don't need to jump into the world of like Kenshi's or, you know, anything super expensive like that. So I did get myself some more of the purple dragon shears. I did get these a while ago um, and they're actually not bad. So I just decided to pick up another little set just to have extras. So we have a pair of thinners. We have a nice little comb right here. And then on the other side, we have some curves, which I use a lot and then some straights. So really excited. We are all stocked up. I'm gonna put this in a bag and bring all this stuff to work with me tomorrow. So. I'm really excited. Okay, that is all my hauls. I'm gonna go take a nap. <laughs>
I'm back again it has been uh, a little while since I have vlogged again today is February 12th Friday it is currently about 1225 in the afternoon and I'm having a filming day if you guys are wondering about my highlight <laughs> it's up on my channel it's the one I uploaded on Valentine's Day which is two days from now but by the time you guys are seeing this vlog it's already up so if you're wondering about my highlight it's on my channel so I wanted to quickly come on here and end this vlog because there is so much footage and I feel like it's decently long enough now and I'm just going to start another vlog again very very soon so I basically came on here to say hi and bye bye <laughs> I'm just kidding I love you guys so much wait what the fuck am I doing so I showed you guys my little figurines right well I finally put them up so here's what Pennywise looks like this is a little balloon we have Reagan right in here Michael which you guys have seen and then of course we have Freddy and Jason right here so I have the whole gang just hanging out looks really cool I put Freddy and Jason together because like Freddy versus Jason ha 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 uh, Michael has his own moment I might rearrange this in the future but for now that's what we're looking like. I had to take them out of the box and display them because they're way too cool. I am going to get back upstairs. I'm going to film another video for the future and probably edit this vlog and get this vlog up as soon as possible. So yeah, I really hope that you guys enjoyed all the different footage. Again, I have really, really been enjoying uploading um, my dog grooming footage. If you guys want to keep seeing that every once in a while in vlogs, please let me know if you're absolutely sick of it. Please let me know that is okay too. But I really hope that you guys enjoyed. If you did, go down, give this video a huge thumbs up. If you're new to my channel, make sure you subscribe. I do upload every three to four days here. I love you guys so much and I will see you very soon in my next video slash vlog. I love you guys. Bye. Mwah. Bye guys. Say bye guys. Jacqueline Avril. Goodbye puppies. Oh, good girl with the head tilt.